Okay, I see for a few dollars. It's my daughter's birthday and I just wanted to get her this. Well, I don't have any cash. Oh, alright, no worries. But if you wait till I check out, I can do it for you. Could you? Yeah. Thank you so much. Can I put this in your car by any yeah, chance? Go ahead. Why'd you say yes to me? You just said it's somebody's birthday. What I actually was doing, the first person that said yes to me, I wanted to bless you today with a thousand dollars. Are you serious right now? I'm dead serious. This is for you. You people know the type of day I was having today. I've been struggling for four months trying to give my life to God. When I was a homosexual, and I know they wouldn't forgive me. Today, I went to the church. I gave my life to God. I love you. Thank you so much. Now you guys know how I feel about people videotaping themselves as they're doing good deeds, giving money to the homeless and whatnot. We know that that's a sinful act and it's not pleasing to the Lord. But the thing that stood out to me in this clip was when she said she was a homosexual, speaking in past tense, which leads me to believe that she recognizes her sin and a need for a savior. So many people say that they've given their life to the Lord, but don't actually know what that entails. This woman in this video may have genuinely been saved on that day, and this was the Lord's way of blessing her. Let's not forget that, the, that our God gives his children good gifts, Matthew 7, 11. But we need to understand this in a biblical context, because taking this truth out of context lends way to the prosperity gospel, and that's what we don't want. Now, personally, I remember the day I got saved, March 15, 2012, and the week leading up to my conversion, God literally caused me to lose my car, my job was in jeopardy, and I was facing eviction, all three things within a week and a half's time. A few days after God saved me, he caused all these problems to be rectified. Literally days after I got saved, everything got taken care of. So I do believe this was the Lord blessing this woman.